What up, what up? It's your boy DJ Ghost. And look, my nigga, it's a grip of reasons why people game bang. You know what I'm saying? Like, a few reasons, like, number one, my nigga, look, it's really a lot of people. When you hear, or when you see people on TV, like, I'll game bang because I ain't had no family, or I game bang because I was lost, so I ain't nowhere to go. Like, my nigga, that shit is true. That shit is true. Motherfuckers really game bang because they have nobody. Then they see this structure and they want to be a part of that. And another thing, you hear people gang banging because they want to be a part of something. Nobody wants to be a nobody. Everybody want to be a part of something. And when you look at gang banging, the bitches like it. The niggas just own. They got money. They fly. They got cars. That's what you want to be. You know what I'm saying? So that's why niggas start doing. And the dumbest fucking reason to me of all my nigga is gang banging because it's cool. Like your ass can't get murdered the day you get put on type shit. You know what I'm saying? Gang banging is real. And motherfuckers don't understand that. Yeah, like, look, let me give you an example, my nigga. Say you grew up right here in this crib neighborhood. You grew up in this crib neighborhood and went to their elementary school, went to their junior high school, and went to their high school. All right. Say you kicking with fucking Michael, James, Darrell, and Chris. You know what I mean? And so around middle school, these four niggas start gang banging, but you don't bang. You know? The average motherfucker start gang banging around 6th, 7th, 8th grade. So these niggas start gang banging in middle school, but you don't bang, my nigga. So, it's limitations to this shit. If it's a block party over here, if it's a hood meeting over here, if it's some shit popping over here, my nigga, yeah, they can go. Everybody know you, but guess what? You're not from there, so you're not finna go behind these buildings, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And all the fly bitches be over there. All the bitches, look, bitches got limitation. If you cute than a motherfucker and they know you ain't on bullshit, you can go anywhere where any niggas is at. Everybody want to be around a cute bitch. That's where they going to be at. And then you going to feel some type of way if you see these bitches and they be like, oh, where you was at? It was cracking over there. Whoop -de -whoop -whoop. And like I said, it's a lot of females that glorify gangbaggers. So they're going to look at you like, nigga, why you not from over here? Oh, that's why you went from back there? Like, ugh, you a square type shit. Or right, say you get back to school next day, you see it on Facebook, you see it on Twitter, Instagram, or whatever. You see all this shit popping, you feel left out, my nigga. You know, so that day, you're going to look at your homies like, nigga, y'all take me over there to get put on. Like, man, like, nigga, I want to like, do this shit. Y'all take me over there. Because that's why niggas get put on. And another reason, my nigga, like, let me give you another scenario. Say you grew up in this blood neighborhood. And you up here wearing the all red fucking pro club t-shirt. Black jeans, red belt, red chucks, red shoestrings, red hat. Boom. Flame the fuck up. You feel like you doing the hood a favor. Even though you don't bang. You going to school wearing all that red. But guess what? Them blood niggas that's from that neighborhood over there. They going to press you, nigga. And they going to press you hard, nigga. Like, where you from, nigga? Why you got on all this red, nigga? Whoop -de whoop whoop. You going to feel some type of way like, nigga, I thought I was doing this favor. Like, no, nah, nigga, you still not from over here. Yeah, you grew up over here, but you still not from over here. You know what I'm saying? And then another time, say, say some Crips run into you and you dress like that. Nigga, you don't really bang. You can't call nobody. You not from over there, nigga. But these Crip niggas going to think you from over there. They going to wet your ass up and probably kill you on the spot. Beat you up, jump you. They going to do something, my nigga. You know, so you can't win for lose. It's like a lose-lose situation. So, what you gonna think? Like, my nigga, I need to get put on for real. I'm not finna keep on walking around here with my head cut off. Nigga, you can't go to this store because niggas gonna press you over here. You don't wanna go around the corner. You can't go to no house party because ain't nothing but gangbangers from this neighborhood over there. You gonna feel like a wallflower. Nigga, you ain't nobody, nigga. That's how I really feel. Niggas really start gangbanging. You know what I'm saying? With no motherfucking, like, with not a care in the world. And they really feel like they somebody after they bang it. They got a big ass smile on their face and they start flying colors. That's just how shit is. And then, you know, like I said, niggas do it because they think it's cool. Niggas see the rappers and they just think shit is cool. But at the end of the day, my nigga, you still gonna be, look, if you gonna be with this shit, you gonna be with this shit. You know what I'm saying? To everybody else, oh yeah, you banging, now you at school, you tossing up, whoop -de whoop throwing up everything. Like, oh yeah, you banging once you get to this neighborhood, nigga. Your homies gonna test you. You finna have to squabble. You gonna have to get down, nigga. Oh yeah, we gotta put in some work, nigga. You gonna have to roll, nigga. So you better really think about if this what the fuck you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you that nigga you just got put on. You just got put on. You got to put in some work, my nigga. Hey, bro, you just got put on. Oh, yeah, let's go put in some work, nigga. Let's go. Woo -woo -woo -woo. And you ain't got no record? Come in here green in a motherfucker? You ain't got no felonies, no misdemeanors, nigga? Let's go rob this motherfucker bank. Hop your bitch ass in the car, nigga. Let's go. And let you not. And let you not. Listen to your big homies. Your OGs, nigga. You don't want to do no bullshit out of it.
after you were just caught it on. You got to prove yourself. You don't want to get DP'd after you just got put on, right, nigga? You got to really think about just what the fuck you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Because game banging, game banging is real. Everybody say game banging is played out. But no, nah, it's still niggas out here that's really with that shit. You know what I'm saying? You go to these neighborhoods, you go ahead and try that shit. They say it's played out because they see all these watered down niggas all on the internet, internet banging and cyber cripping and all this other bullshit. But no, nah, nigga, this shit is really, really real. You know what I'm saying? So you 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 decide what you want to do with this shit. You know? Motherfuckers out here will kill you for a color. They will kill you for the wrong color shoestrings. They will kill you for the wrong hat, my nigga. They will with no question asked. At all. And like I said, niggas gotta prove they self. When you get put on, you gotta put in that work. You can get put on right now, nigga. You can get put on today. But two weeks later. Your enemies, they just put a little nigga on too. And he got to prove himself. And he finna go on a mission. So just hope it's not you that he fine, nigga. Let me know what y'all think. Comment, rate, subscribe, all that good shit. DJ Ghost 100.